Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today to do a little comparison video between the Ranger 260 MPX and the Ranger 330 MPX. So, we just got the Ranger 260 MPX. It's all new, just came out. And I don't know if you guys have seen my video on the 330 MPX, but we'll link it below so you guys can watch it. This came out a little while back. So, they launched the 260 um, to compete against, you know, the, let's just say, 250 series Bobcats and their Ranger 250 GX series. So this unit kind of replaces that. Um, and I was just going to talk about the comparisons between these two, what the difference is, and uh, you know, when you're choosing an engine drive, which one would be best fit for you. So the 260 has a 260 amp, 26 volt, 100% duty cycle. This unit has a 330 amp, 33 volt, 100% duty cycle. So a little bit more uh, amperage output and a little bit more voltage output than the 260. Size-wise, they are identical. They're in the same package. So to tell them apart, if we took the stickers off, you wouldn't know. But they are in the same size package. Uh, very light, very quiet. They run about 75 decibels somewhere in there when they're running. So it's really, the noise is it's not really an issue with these. Uh, the uh, On the front end, parts of the unit, very similar, both doors open up on these units. Like I said, it's the same package. You're going to have the same battery compartment, same terminal lugs, everything's the same. Screens are the same. They're going to run. I mean, they're, they're identical. Now, what this one lacks and this one has is downhill pipe on the 330 and arc gouging. When you turn on that main screen, you can see this one will have downhill pipe and arc gouging, whereas the 260 does not. The 330 also has pulse on the spool gun and DC pulse on TIG. This unit does not. So we're getting to brass tacks here. This has a little bit more bells and whistles, but at the end of the day, I mean, they're very comparable in the size and everything. This unit here has a 23 and a half horse Kohler. This has a 25 horse Kohler. And what that gives you is 9,500 watts continuous output on your generator and 10,000 watts on your continuous output on your generator. So a little bit more output on the 330. Um, that running them side by side, noise is about the same. I really, you can't really tell a difference in that. Uh, very nice machine, though. Right, so another unique thing to these units is they came out with the Magnum Pro 250 LXGT spool gun for them. So it's a direct hookup, seven pin into the front of the machine. Uh, there's a mode on there that you can go to for spool gun. Uh, like I said before, this unit will pulse. This unit will not. But it is a unique spool gun to these units. It was made specifically for both the 260 and the 330. Um, I just made a video on that too, so we're going to link that below also. Uh, and you can watch it run. I mean, it, it is amazing. And there's the Active 8 suitcase feeders that can go with either one of these units. So the Active 8 is the cross-link technology, um, and they'll both plumb right into these things. So right now at bakersgas.com we have half off covers for a limited time on both these units and there's also a promo code on the new MPX 260 so check that video out and like I said, if you have any more questions comments concerns please leave comments below and uh, we'll do our best to answer them thanks again for watching